All right, uh, another video here on the Nano VNA. Um, so last time I showed you uh, return loss measurements. Um, so VNAs have a um, a coupler or a bridge um, to separate forward power and reverse power. Um, so they're able to output uh, a signal and then look at the reflected signal by using a coupler. So a true VNA would have a coupler on both sides, so you could measure uh, S11 is the return on port 1, and S22 would be the return on port 2. Um, this one can't do that, it only has a coupler on one side. Most of the, the GP VNAs only have it on one side, and then they require you to, if you want to measure on the other side, this require, require you to manually swap these two connectors, and then you can look at it from the, uh, uh, from the other side. Um, so, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at S21, which is the signal um, as a, a through connection. So we're going to output on this connector, and we're going to input on this connector, and see what goes on on the other side of these two cables. Um, so, in the middle of these two cables, I have uh, this. Uh, I have videos on this particular filter before, measuring it on my uh, 8921. But it's a, it claims to be a 470 megahertz uh, low pass filter, so it passes everything below that and cuts off things above that. So I have that in line here. And so the way that we display that on, on this particular device, get centered here, is we're going to go to display and uh, we're going to go to trace. And we have four traces here, they're different colors. So we can hit trace this, we can turn it off, so we've turned this trace off. Uh, we can turn this one off. And then uh, the other traces are going to be the channel 1. So these are channel 0 traces, this is channel 1 trace. And so this is actually the uh, uh, through measurement for the filter. So we have a pass and then it cuts. And so this cutoff frequency should be around 470 megahertz. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit better. And uh, you can do a couple things. You can do, uh, oh, let's see here, uh, display, trace, format, more. Yeah, so uh, this is how you get to this particular trace. Um, so you can have this trace be a, uh, be a Smith chart. Um, and that's for the uh, S11. Um, you can also do more, and then there's something called polar and linear, and those are actually the through measurements. They're not labeled very well, but those are the through measurements. So if we say, um, uh, let's see here, linear, there we go, linear. So here is that uh, filter swept with uh, linear uh, vertical dimensions. Um, and we can do, let's see, how do we get to, not to polar, linear, hmm, there's a way to do this, oh, there we go, log max, uh, so we can do log, yeah, so log magnitude for the S21, so this is very tiny writing, but it says channel 1, log, mag, 10 dB, so 10 dB steps, um, and then if you want to look at it in a linear mode, you hit the linear button on here, and now you can see it uh, a little bit more detailed, linear. Let's go back to log. Uh, here's our log. And uh, we can take our cursor here, put it right on the corner, and it's measuring 550 uh, megahertz. And then about halfway down, it's around 620 megahertz. So it's, again, I think we measured this also on the, on the HP equipment, and, and it measures about the same. Um, but probably exactly the same, um, that this particular filter is, is long as, as marked. It says, uh, on the board it says 400 to 470 low pass, um, and it's actually up here around 550. Um, but anyway, it is a nice flat uh, low pass filter, so that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, so that's a quick one on how to do a, a, through, a through measurement. Um, a lot of people get these devices and complain, oh, my device is only two channels. Well, when you turn it on, it's only two channels. So let's uh, turn it off. And we'll turn it on. 
and it defaults to this. It defaults to only two channels on. So if you do display, trace, uh, we can turn that one on and we can turn, uh, what's the other color? This one. So now we have four traces. Um, in fact, the fourth trace is, is very interesting. It's the phase information for our filter. So let's go ahead and um, this is very cluttered now. So let's turn off some traces. Uh, turn that one off. Uh, I'll turn that one off. That's okay. So here's our here's our uh, through through measurement, and then this is the phase information. So um, you can see that the uh, phase goes up, and then it wraps around. So the phase goes between zero and three hundred and sixty. Um, these go between zero and one hundred and eighty, and then they flip sign. So they go up and they flip flip. You can imagine that this is just a ramp that goes up and up and up and up and up and up. Um, but this is the phase information for um, how how uh, things go through how things go through the filter. Um, if I uh, look at um, let's see here, let's do a fun thing while we're here. Uh, let's close these. Let me let me go to display. Let me turn off. Oops. Uh, trace. Let me turn off these. Oops. Off. And let's turn this one on, and we'll turn this one off. So let's just look, oops, off, off, there we go. So let's just look at the um, a Smith chart uh, for S11, which is the reflection from this port here. And I'm going to uh, uh, take the cable off altogether. Okay, so the cable is off. And so the only data point that we have is over here. This is our infinity um, um, resistance. There's no um, inductance or, re or, or capacitance. It's on, the, it's on the line. If you go up, you add, you're adding inductance. If you go down, you're adding, um, you're adding capacitance. This is the plus Z direction, the minus Z direction. Anyway, um, and if we're at 50 ohms, we're right here in the center. And if we're a short, then we're right here over at this point. Oops. But if we add a cable, this is just cable with nothing attached. This is fun. What happens is you get a circle. And what it is, is it's basically um, for every, so remember we're sweeping frequency. So for every frequency, the um, data goes out, it gets reflected at, at the open, and then it comes back. And um, if you're at the port, we've calibrated it all out. So for every single frequency, we've calibrated that this particular, what they call plane, the plane at the output of the connector is where everything is referenced to zero time. So everything will plot in the same direction. If you add just a wire, then what happens is for every frequency, the uh, time that it takes to go out to the end of the cable and come back is going to be a different because of the different frequencies that you'll get you'll you'll get a kind of a a wave in the um, in the coax and the the wavelength of the of the measurement changes so the uh, phase information the phase relationship between the reflection and this zero point changes and you'll move so a very very short cable you'll move just a little distance a very long cable you'll actually wrap around and around and around because you'll go past 360 so this will be 360 a phase 720 a phase as it as it wraps around so um, if you see a circle like that you have you have just a, a long a long section here so a lot of people will use VNAs to measure um, uh, PC boards they'll you know if you need to have um, two signals arriving at two different points at exactly the same time, you can use this phase information um, uh, to do that. And uh, also you can make sure that your uh, impedance is, is correct at the same time. So anyway, VNAs are very very powerful in different ways. Um, but this, this just shows you how the phase wraps around and around and around. All right, uh, enough for this video. Uh, we've looked at a filter. We've looked at turning traces on and off. We've looked at... Uh, looked at uh, when it comes out of the box it's two channel you need to turn on the other two channels if you want four channel um, and um, we looked at a through measurement yeah s s21 so there you go